Hi everybody, it's me, Mrs. Palmer. I'm here to do our virtual lesson with you. I know that on Tuesday, some of you may have missed our lesson, but we're gonna do a repeat of that same lesson while I'm working on finding a new way to do our live lessons. Uh, I wanted to introduce a special guest. This is my girl, Bindi. Come here, come here, Bindi. This is my pupper. She is <laughs> about eight months old, and you might see her pop in and out during my lesson because she gets really excited when she hears me play and sing. So if you see a little fuzzy person pop in and out, that's my baby girl, Bindi. Okay, go on, mamas. Go on. Okay. Um, sit. Lay down. Good girl. Okay. So I want to start off our lesson doing a little bit of our normal greeting, just like how we normally do in my class. I know we're in a different place, right? This is my blanket fort. I got some friends with me here. I got my blankets. I got my books. I got a basket full of instruments, and I've even got my guitar over here off to the side. So let's start with a little bit of a greeting. Remember when we sing in music class, we sit up straight and tall. So shoulders back, shoulders down, straight and tall. Good, and let's go ahead and sing a greeting. I'm gonna sing first, and then my pal Fang is gonna sing back, okay? So I want you to sing with Fang. So me first, then sing with Fang. All right, here I go. Hello, Miss Palmer. Hello, Miss Palmer. Excellent job. Oh, well, squeak. <laughs> All right, guys. Our next activity that we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of solfege, okay? So I want you to sit straight and tall, and we're going to sing some solfege together. Now, this lesson is going to span all the way from kinder through our fifth grade students, so I want you to do what you can, do what you know, but that doesn't mean you have to do everything, okay? So if you don't know what solfege is, then just sing. And if you do know what solfege is, go ahead and do the solfege with me, okay? So let's start together. Here I go. So la so so me. Your turn. My turn. So me so so me. Your turn. Excellent. Now let's do one more. So la so me do. Ready go. Excellent job. Thanks for following along with me with the solfege. Okay, so for the rest of our lesson, I want to focus on a couple of things. Number one, our first thing I want to talk about is the power of yet. So what's something that you know how to do really, really well? Maybe it's playing a game. Maybe you're really amazing at basketball. Maybe you are an awesome singer. Maybe you are the best hopscotch person on your block. Well, some things that I'm good at are I love to sing, but I also really like to cook and I like to sew. Those are fun things that I like to do that I think I'm pretty good at. But you know what? There's some other things that I'm not so great at. Things that I'm not good at. But I want us to think about something maybe that we're not the best at. What could that be? One of the things that I'm not super amazing at is online learning. I'm learning how to do this right now. This is something brand new for me. I've never taught online before and it's kind of different looking at myself instead of looking at your smiling faces whenever um, <laughs> I'm teaching a lesson. So one of the things I want you to think about is when you are doing something that you're not so great at, how does that make you feel? I know sometimes I can feel a little discouraged. Uh, I feel a little frustrated. Um, those are definitely things I felt with learning how to do uh, teaching online. But one of the things that's helped me was something that Mr. Bagley taught me about the power of yet. You know what that means? That means even though I'm not good at it right now, it doesn't mean I won't be good at it later. So I have to think to myself, instead of saying, I can't do that, oh, I'm terrible at online teaching, what I need to think about it is shift my mind to think, I'm not good at it yet. And that's a powerful thing, because that says I'm not defeated, 
I'm not going to be terrible at it forever. That means I'm not good at it right now, but I can be great at it later or even just a little better at it later. So I'm not good at online teaching yet. <laughs> and thankfully, I'm going to have some time to practice so that way I can get much better for you. Okay. So when you're thinking about that thing that you're not so great at right now, remember, you're not good at it yet. But we're going to practice and work hard until we get ready or until we get better at that thing later. Okay. So let's get ready to start off with a fun song. This song is called Mr. Sun. Um, the song is really simple. I'm going to sing it first with my guitar and then I want you to join me and sing it with me after I'm done. Okay. So here's my fancy guitar. Her name is Violet. She's purple. I'm going to sing the song and I just want you to listen. Okay. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Violet Sun, please shine. children are asking you, please come out so we can play with you. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Excellent. Okay, so I want to sing it again, but this time without my guitar, so that way you can sing along with me, okay? All right, so here I go. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you, please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Excellent job. Okay, now I'm going to teach you the words. It's really simple. There's that first part that repeats, Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Can you say that? Here we go. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Now let's sing it. Me first, you second. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. You try it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Excellent. Now the next part is the please shine down on me. And we're going to take our fingers and go like this. Please shine down on me. Your turn. Good. Now let's go back and do it all together. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Now for the second part, we sing that all over again. So let's do that two times, okay? But this time, instead of saying shine down on me, you're gonna sing hiding behind a tree. Okay, so you're gonna sing, Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. Your turn, ready, here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excellent. Our next part says, these little children are asking you. Your turn. Excellent. Now we'll sing it. These little children are asking you. Now let's sing it together. Ready, go. Excellent. Next part says, please come out so we can play with you. Okay, so let's do that. Ready? Two parts together. These little children are asking you, please come out so we can play with you. Ready? These little children are asking you, please come out so we can play with you. All right, let's try that one more time. Ready, go. These little children are asking you, 
please come out so we can play with you. Very nice job. Okay, now, you're going to go back to the very beginning. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready, go. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Excellent job. I think you've got it. Let's see if we can put it all together. Okay, here we go. Ready? From the very beginning, Mr. Sun. Watch me for the uh, motion so that way you know what's coming next. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. These little children are asking you, please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Excellent job. Okay. Now this time, I want you to sing it again, but we're going to sing it with some body percussion. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pat. So you're going to pat on your lap. Then you're going to clap. Then you're going to snap. And last, you're going to stomp your foot. Okay? <laughs> I stomped on my xylophone. So you're going to stomp your foot. All right? So first, pat. Then we're going to clap. Then we're going to snap. And last, we're going to stomp our foot. Now, you're going to do this in the rests. Do you remember what a rest is? A rest is a place where it's silent. Thank you. A rest is a place where it's silent, so where there's no sound. So let's listen to my song and see if you can hear the rests. I'm going to touch my shoulders after a little bit to help you find them. Here we go. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun. Mr. Golden Sun. Oh, I didn't do that. I'm <laughs> distracted by Bindi. Here I go. Ready? Oh, Mr. Sun. Sun. Mr. Golden Sun. Please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun. Sun. Mr. Golden Sun. Hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you. Please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Excellent job. Okay, so that is our periods of rest. So let's start with our body percussion. Do it with me. Here we go. Ready, go. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you, please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Excellent. All right. Try it by yourself this time. Remember, we start with the pat. Then clap, then snap, and then stomp. I'm going to play my guitar. You do it on your own. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. These little children are So, great job, guys. Okay. Now, let's do another song. I want to do a song, but oh, my hand, it won't stop shaking. My poor hand is shaking and I can't make it stop. My poor hand is shaking and I can't make it stop. Oh, mama, help me, I can't make it stop. My poor hand is shaking and I can't make it stop. Stop! 
My shoulder is shaking and I can't make it stop. My shoulder is shaking and I can't make it stop. Oh, mama, help me, I can't make it stop. My shoulder is shaking and I can't make it stop. Stop! Are you singing with me? My elbow is shaking and I can't make it stop. My elbow is shaking and I can't make it stop. Oh, mama, help me, I can't make it stop. My elbow is shaking and I can't make it stop. Stop! My poor head is shaking and I can't make it stop. Ah, my poor head is shaking and I can't make it stop. Oh no! Oh mama, help me, I can't make it stop. My poor head is shaking and I can't make it stop. Stop! <laughs> my whole body's shaking and I can't make it stop. My whole body's shaking and I can't make it stop. Oh, mama, help me, I can't make it stop. My whole body's shaking and I can't make it stop. Stop! Oh. I sure hope I've gotten all my wiggles out now because my poor body, I couldn't make it stop, but thank goodness it was able to finally stop. Great job, guys. Now, I wanna sing another song, but first we're gonna do a little bit of solfege practice. So for my older students, we're gonna do a little bit more solfege now. I want you to sit up straight and tall, remember like how we always sit, and I'm going to do some solfege and then I want you to sing after me. This hand is gonna be me, this hand is gonna be you, okay? So I'm gonna do it first, then I want you to follow me second, okay? So me first on this side, you on this side. Okay, here I go. So, so, la, la, so, me, so, me, so, me, so, so, la, la, so, me, so, me, do. Now I'm going to break it down. Okay, here we go. So, so, la, la, so, me. Your turn. So, so, la, la, so, me. My turn. So me, so me. Your turn. So me, so me. My turn. So, so, la, la, so me. Your turn. So, so, la, la, so me. My turn. So me, do. Your turn. So me, do. Excellent. Now, can we try it together? I'm gonna do both hands. I want you to just do one hand, or if you wanna challenge yourself, go ahead and try two. Remember, your palm faces out for so. I'm sorry, not your palm. The back of your hand faces out for so, and your palm faces in towards your body. Okay, so let's try it together. Here we go. Ready, sing. So, so, la, la, so, me, so, me, so, me. So, so, la, la, so, me, so, me, do. Excellent job. Now let's see if you can do it by yourself while I sing the words, okay? So I'm gonna sign and I want you to sign and sing so, so, la, la, so, me, but I'm gonna sing some different words. So you keep doing the soulfish. so watch my hand for the soulfish while I'm gonna sing the song. Here I go. Donald is a one leg, one leg, one leg. Donald is a one leg, one leg duck. Excellent job. Now, here's what I want us to do together. I want us to both sing the song and do the signs. So my words are, Donald is a one leg, one leg, one leg. Donald is a one leg, one leg duck. Okay? Let's try it together. Here we go. Donald is a one leg, one leg, one leg. Donald is a one leg, one leg duck. Excellent job. Okay. Okay, 
So what I want you to do now is I want you to stand up right where you are and we're gonna sing the song while we do solfege. Then in just a moment, I'm gonna improvise on my glockenspiel, this guy, and I want you to hop on one leg while you sing the song in your head. Okay, so first we're gonna stand and we're gonna sing with the solfege. Donald is in one leg. Then you're going to hop on one leg while you sing the song in your head. Got it? Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, ready, sing. Donald is a one leg, one leg, one leg. Donald is a one leg, one leg duck. Now hop. Excellent job. Now I'm gonna change my song a little bit and I want you to continue doing the actions, but I want you to listen to what my song says and do those actions. Remember, first we stand and sing, then we move. Here we go. Ready, sing. Donald is a two-leg, two-leg, two-leg. Donald is a two-leg, two-leg duck. Two legs. Excellent. Donald is a three-leg, three-leg, three-leg. Donald is a three-leg, three-leg duck. Now move on three parts. Excellent job. I hope you had fun with that song. That one's one of my favorites. No, there is. I don't think there's any ducks that exist with five legs. But if they did, I wonder what that would look like. For sure, that'd be a pretty interesting looking duck. Okay, now we're going to go on to our next song. Uh, it's called Rish Rash. And for this song, we're going to be creating our own internal ostinatos. An ostinato is a short repeated pattern. So remember, an ostinato could be Or it could be, or it could be something fun, like you could do the floss. One, two, I can't floss very well. Yet, power of yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna sing my song, and all I want you to do is just listen this time, okay? So here I go. Rish, rash, fill a boom, 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 fill a boom, 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 fill a boom, boom. Rish rash fill a boom 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 fill a boom 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 fill a boom. Rish rash fill a boom 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 fill a boom 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 fill a boom boom boom. Rish rash fill a boom 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 fill a boom 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 fill a boom. Sing it with me. Rish rash fill a boom 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 fill a boom 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 fill a boom boom boom. Rish rash fill a boom 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 fill a boom. Are you sitting straight and tall? Uh huh. Sit up straight. Here we go. Rish rash fill a boom 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 fill a boom 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 fill a boom boom boom. Rish rash fill a boom 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 fill a boom 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 fill a boom. Excellent job. Okay, now I want you to come up with your own ostinato. Okay, so that means you're moving to the beat. However, you're gonna do it. So I'm gonna sing. 
and I want you to perform your ostinato, okay? Whatever that is. So patting on your shoulders to your lap, snapping, shooping, flossing, doing the mop, I don't know, make up something, okay? So do your ostinato. Short, repeated pattern. That's our ostinato, okay? So pick a short, repeated pattern that you can do. All right, here we go. Ready? Rish, rash, fill a boom, 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 fill a boom, 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 fill a boom, boom, boom. Rish, rash, fill a boom, 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 fill a boom, 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 fill a boom. Rish, rash, fill a boom, 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 fill a boom, 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 fill a boom, boom, boom. Rish, rash, fill a boom, 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 fill a boom, 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 fill a boom. Excellent job. I can't wait to see pictures of what your ostinatos look like or show me a video of you doing this with your ostinato. All right, we got one more song that we're gonna do together and then another quick activity after that. Okay, so first I want you to remember our song, The Noble Duke of York. We've done this in class. It's a super fun one. Um, it's got some really great words. Uh, I'm gonna start it. And I want you just to watch me. This is going to be a get up, get moving song. So do it with your mom and dad. Do it with your grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, cousin, whoever's in the house with you. Get them to come and join you with this. Because you could even get some PE time for this one. Okay, so here I go. You're going to go. Oh, the noble Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and marched them down again. And when they're up, they're up. And when they're down, they're down. And when they're only halfway up, they're neither up nor down. Okay, so for that up and down part, you're going to reach your hands all the way high up above your head. And for the down part, you're gonna touch your toes. Okay, so bend all the way down and touch your toes. Okay, then for halfway up, you're gonna stand up with your arms right by your side, halfway up, and then up nor down. Then the second part says, a hunting we will go. We're gonna march in place for that part. A hunting we will go. Okay, so make sure that you're moving, moving your body, moving your feet to the steady beat. Remember, that's that heartbeat of the song. Okay? So let's try it together. That's how my song goes. Oh, the noble Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and marched them down again. And when they're up, they're up. And when they're down, they're down. And when they're only halfway up, they're neither up nor down. A hunting we will go. March in place. A hunting we will go. We'll catch a fox and put him in a box and then we'll let him go. A hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. We'll catch a fox and put him in a box and then we'll let him go. Excellent job. Now, I'm going to play my guitar. And I want you to pay special attention to what happens to the tempo, that pace of the music, when we play. You move. I sing. Here we go. Oh, the down for down, 10 for 10,000, standing tall for noble Duke of York, then march, 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 march. Okay. Oh, the noble Duke of York.
Are you tired? Good. Take a breather. <laughs> All right. We're going to do a really quick uh, listening activity. And for this activity, I'm going to play a song for you. And I want you to tell me what you notice about the song. Okay? So hold on just a moment while I get the video ready. Okay. I want you to listen to this song. And you're going to tell me what you hear. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so what'd you hear? What kind of instruments did you hear? If you said flute or violin or the bassoon or any other of our instruments in the orchestra, you'd be right because all of those instruments are there. Um, one of the things that I was shocked by, oh my goodness, did you hear it? That big whoo right in the middle. That's because this piece of music is called the Surprise Symphony by Franz Joseph Haydn. Okay, now Franz Joseph Haydn is a guy from Europe who lived a really long time ago, back when people used to wear white wigs on their head. And he's what we call a composer. A composer is someone who creates music from inside their own brain. So he wrote all of that music down on paper for people to be able to play and called it the surprise, or the nickname for it is the Surprise Symphony. Could you imagine being in an opera theater during that time and hearing that piece of music be played when you're thinking to yourself, oh my, this is gonna be a really nice, chill, relaxing evening of classical music and then next thing you know, wham, surprise. <laughs> I think I would have probably jumped awake. <laughs> Not that I would have been sleeping. But, um, so that's our surprise symphony. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little short listening activity. Our last thing I want to do is I want to circle back to our uh, talk this morning about the power of yet. So when we talk about yet, remember, we're not good at something right now, but that doesn't mean we won't be later. So we have to think, I'm getting better and I don't know how to do it yet. Okay, so I want you to listen to this poem. It's by a guy named Shel Silverstein. He's one of my absolute most favorite authors of all time, and this book is called Where the Sidewalk Ends. And this poem fits perfect with our theme about the power of yet. Oh my. I lost my poem. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> it says, listen to the mustn'ts. Listen to the mustn'ts, child. The don'ts. Listen to the shouldn'ts. The impossibles. The won'ts. Listen to the never haves, then listen close to me. Anything can happen, child. Anything can be. So what that tells us is, again, about the power of yet. We may not be able to do something now, but anything is possible. Just like Shel Silverstein said, anything can be. So I want to sing a closing song with you, and then I will see you guys next time. Okay, here I go. skin a -a dink a dink skin a -a dink a do I love you. Skin of a rink a dink a dink, skin of a rink a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skin of a rink a dink a dink, skin of a rink a do. I I'll see you next time. So long.